Hey everyone, I wanna show you how I'm using Luminar Neo to be able to edit uh, ideogram art. So this image was created in ideogram, specifically an individual that I'm following created it on ideogram. So I wanna go ahead and give him the credit. He created all these kind of images. His name is Felipe on ideogram. And he created these crazy detailed images. This was one of them. And I'm using ideogram to create the image, and then I'm using Luminar Neo to edit the image. And just to go ahead and show you, this is what the image originally looked like, this is what it looks like now. Very small difference, the only difference is, is this blue kind of color underneath the eye and some blue textures here. I went ahead and removed, you can kind of see the difference there when I click on the preview button, right? You can kind of see the differences. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you there, right? You can see the differences. and. Also, I went ahead and upscaled the image. So the image used to be, uh, I believe it was 700 something pixels by 1200, and now it's 1500 by 2400. Theoretically, I can upscale as much as I want over and over and over, but for tutorial purposes, let's just go ahead and hit upscale uh, 2x, so it should be around four or five K pixels. Yep, there we go, 3000. 72 pixels by 4,928 pixels. For anybody who's curious, the reason why we upscale is that um, two purposes, depending on if we're selling the image through print on demand or if we're selling the image through Adobe stock um, and other stock photo sites, we need to make sure that the image is going to get approved for the stock photo sites. And we also wanna make sure our customers approve the products that we're selling when they receive it. We do not wanna get some unnecessary refund requests. So this is just one of the features that helps us upscale. And really what an upscale is, is when you increase the size of the image without degrading the quality of it. So normal, if, if you were to take an image like this normally, excuse me, which is uh, 768 by 1232, if I take this image, right, and I go over here, and I hit this um, uh, editing, so this markup button, and I go over here to preview, and I change the size, like if I change the size to 3000, for example, what's gonna happen is, is you're not gonna notice it, but the quality of the image is actually going to be degra degraded slightly, okay? And if I keep increasing, 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 what's gonna happen is, is the image is gonna become more and more pixelated, more and more unclear, but an upscale doesn't do that. The image will keep the same quality level, if not improve, um, and expand, which is, uh, you know, new technology for us. So how do I edit this using ideogram? So ideogram, a lot of the times you can play with color and structure and different things like that. For example, I can go to develop, I can go in here, smart contrast, and I can change literally the colors that I'm seeing, make the image more vibrant, more lively, uh, increase, decrease shadows, doesn't really matter. But what I could also do, and this is, like I said, one of my important parts, is the erase function, right? So the original looked like this, or actually the original had a line under the eye, uh, which looked like that. Then we upscaled the image, uh, made it a little bit more vibrant, and now we can do some more edits. So we can go over here to erase, for example. And once again, I use the software literally every day. That's not an exaggeration, um, whether it be for upscaling or whether it be manually editing, kind of like this. And I'll highlight or erase or highlight over um, what I want to erase. So I'll hit erase and then gone, just like that. So you can kind of see how it works. Uh, let's say I want to get rid of this blue tone on the face on this side. So I can go over here and just slowly and safely highlight the parts that I don't want to see. And the important part is to take it slow because sometimes uh, some edits are a little bit harder than others to make. It's kind of normal. Um, so you're dealing with AI, so it has to kind of figure out what is the most optimal, I guess you could say, change to make. And you can kind of see how things change. It's definitely better than before. And, you know, if I was to normally make a change like this, I'd have to go in to some sort of coloring Adobe's type software, use it, uh, color over, blend it in, basically spend half hour, hour, 45 minutes just for a small piece like that. But, you know, makes it a little bit easier. Now you can see a little streaks of blue, so it's not 100% perfect. So what I have to do is go over, hit erase again, and I'll get rid of it slowly. You can kind of tell when I kind of color it over like that. So you can see here, I'll hit erase, gone, right? I'll go over here 
and hit erase and then gone you can see this more peachy color coming in so that's just assuming i want to edit certain things but that's essentially how i'm using lumnar neo with ideogram to produce better results overall for my edits let's go ahead and do this one more time here with this section so let's say i want to get rid of this like tattoo black section here i'll just go over here make sure i highlight everything in here right just like this and i will hit erase and gone just like that and of course obviously i want to make sure that i highlight over everything in my case i didn't but there you go that's an example if i want to get rid of this i can do the same thing the highlighting part is the most important part you want to go over exactly what you want to erase and then it will kind of disappear sometimes you might have to go back a little bit highlight a little bit more you know uh, manually work on it a little bit more but overall very very effective very usable all right guys so this is how i use lumnar neo with ideogram all right i'll talk to you guys soon peace out bye